So here we go then. Today is the day we find out if we get back to back promotions. It's the playoffs. Roll the intro. No, I won't stop. And welcome back to the folks in the Victor Save. I am Cultured Left Foot, and we're getting a new contract after this game, hopefully. Um, the board have agreed I asked for a new contract, and they said, yes, you deserve a new contract. So, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be getting that. Newcomb is, is gone. Um, so we do only have one goalkeeper at the club at the moment. Um, I just had to let him go. He was, he was chewing up wages. He wasn't playing. He hasn't played at all this season. I feel bad, because last he did well. Maybe... We'll bring him back to the club in the future on a free transfer or something. Who knows? But yeah, we're going. We're 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 we're, we're dis we were dis well were we disappointed? I was going to say we're disappointed with the Halifax Town result. Penalties. It's a bit of a lottery, but um, yeah, not too bad to be honest. I mean, to be in this position, third in the league, we had a big long break as well, and we're playing Wealdstone. Um. Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting. They've got a few good players. We've won one against them and lost one against them this season. So we're gonna have to see how we get on. This is how we're gonna be lining up. It'll be Casper and Goal, Woodward, Agabatoma, Rossi, Maskell at the back, Bramble, Spong and Jealous in the middle, Tearhor, Saravia and McKenzie. On the bench you'll have Jackson Jr., Dennis, Gardner Smith, Iggy, and Brian O'Connor as well. I'm just wondering, do we put Ward on the bench? No, I want Dennis on the bench for his flair. So let's get into the game and see how we get on. As I've got a little bit of an itchy nose, so apologies about that. But um, yeah, we we are we are getting. I really want promote. I feel like we deserve promotion. Barnet ran away with the lead. They won it by like nine points, I think, in the end. So uh, yeah, let's go and say we're at home. So passionately. We deserve to be in the final. I was going to say do it for the fans, but I am going to say we deserve to be in the final. It'll be an interesting, interesting scenario this game. Keep uh, promotion a bit alive. We've done very well. It'll be a terrible shame for it. I'm very confident the lads have been superb all season. Uh, don't don't care about their players. Don't care about their players. Here we go into the game. Oh yeah, because I changed it for the penalty shootout, didn't I? So, two D classic. Um, we're going to start positively. Let's go. We're at home. So two teams lining up in the same formation against each other, both in the, the 4 one 2 2 one or 4 one 4 one DM wide, as Football Manager calls it. Um, so question for the day today is what is your current TV show, like box set sort of thing you're watching? I have just started watching The Mandalorian, being a big Star Wars nerd. Um, it's just come to the... Singapore sort of version of Disney Plus so um, I am watching that and I'm very much enjoying it at the moment. Uh, he looked offside referee, he looked offside, it was held it is offside, yeah. So yeah, what is? let me know in the comments below what is your favourite TV show or what are you watching at the moment, it can be it can be anything really, but yeah, mine is The Mandalorian as Alan's in at the back post, oh my god Alan has scored, we're 1-0 down come on boys um Get our overlaps back on. Ah, um, everything seems to be going a little bit awry at the moment in terms of the computer, the AI, and the other managers figuring out how we play. Turner puts the ball in. Allen just gets there ahead of Woodward and he sticks it past Casper in goal. Come on, demand more. We need something to happen here. We need an improvement. Woodward with a throw, goes back to Agabatoma. He goes long looking for McKenzie, heads that back to Tear Horst. And we are, come on, this is what we need sort of our wingers and our forwards to get involved. Jealous is running in behind. He's into the box. He's all on his own. Jealous, yes! Jamie Jealous gets the equaliser. It's been a long time coming since he's scored. A good assist from Johan Tear Horst. Oh, okay, we're back in it. 12 minutes gone. 1-1, one, one, tear horse here. Just dinked it through. I don't know what the defence were playing at. They must be tightly marking McKenzie because Jealous was allowed to just run through, shoot past the goalkeeper. And uh, that's a good response after that little setback at the beginning. Rossi into Masco, Back to Rossi. Up the line to Saravia. He's got Masco going on that overlap. McKenzie's also in the middle. Saravia looks for McKenzie. McKenzie, is he through? He's gone a little bit wide. Gets his shot off. It's blocked. Jealous will pick it up. He's got tear horse there if needed. Bramble out to tear horse. Tear Horst looks to beat his man. 
Would he lay it off to Woodward? He does. Woodward's got some good crossing ability. Mackenzie's beaten in the air. Giddings heads it away, but it's not the best. And we are starting to influence and dominate the game, as we expect. Saravia tries to get in behind, lays it in towards Mackenzie. Good tackle from Stevens and Burwood. Clears it away. Agabatoma. Agabatoma, again, it's that really shit, like, dribbling mechanic that you see in the 2D and the game. It's just terrible. Shumerton in. Turner's there, and Casper gets a touch, but can't keep it out, and that's really shit. Everything about that was shit. Everything about that was shit. Agabatoma, I don't know what, I just I hate that. I'm not watching that, because I hate that whole thing. It's shit. It's just shit. Shumerton, ball in. To the back post, Casper with a fantastic save again. I feel like we may be getting caught out on our on our lines here. Um, let's go wide. Let's up the tempo a little bit. Come on. Come on, boys. I think maybe the 4 2 is going to have to come back out again. Shimoten, ball in. Casper punches away. Jealous will get there. There's a load of space out on the right, but we can't get the ball out there. Burwood with a goal kick for Wieldstone. He goes long. You've got time to bring it down. No stupid headers. Thank you. Masco. Looking over the top towards McKenzie. I don't know why we're going for these long balls. Um, Turner. Turner's in behind. And he's gone past the post. Oh, man. I'm trying to think about what we can do. Shimoten. Ball in. It's all Wieldstone at the moment. Allen picks it up. Goes back to Stevens. Stevens back to Allen, into Bailey. They're just passing it around. Phillips shoots, it's blocked, and Bramble with it. Well, a weird clearance. It goes behind for a corner. Right, let's get some more people attacking the box, I think. Uh, yep. Wing back on attack. Wing back on attack. Yep, happy with all of that. You guys keep wide. Work it into the box. Let's whip some low crosses in. Counter, counter press. That's fine. Don't really have to go quickly. Let's keep the ball. Um, let's get stuck in on them for the last 20 minutes of this first half and see what we can do. We haven't picked up any cards yet, so I'm happy to throw a few more dangerous tackles in. Shimoten, ball in. Casper's under it, catches it well. I just We need something to happen here. Here we go. Let's build. Let's build from this. I mean, look, they're playing inside forwards, advance forward, deep line playing box to box. No nonsense fullbacks as well. They've picked up an injury, which hopefully will help us a little bit. Allen over the free kick, fires it in. Casper makes the save. Mackenzie up front, not playing well. Tailhorse is going to go up front for the second half. Maskell was having a shocker at the back as well. Oh, Woodward with a throw and into Jealous. Back to Woodward. Woodward into Bramble. Bramble ball in. It's to nobody though, isn't it? It's just dreadful. Ross, your assistant manager -ness is coming into play there. We're going to ask you to set the instructions up for the opponents. Allen heads the ball on. Bramble picks up it. It's loose. Tearhorst out wide. What can he do? He tries to beat his man. He's tackled well by Allen. Allen comes forward with it. All the way across. Maskell's there. He's missed it. He's having a shocker, is Maskell. Shimoten's in behind. Shoots and Casper touches it around the post. Not happy with this. Not happy with how this game's going. Shimoten. On the corner, number 11 for Wieldstone, fires it in. Bailey's under it, Agbatoma wins the header. Kaskulovas, forced back. Jealous wins the ball, Tearhorst, and that's half time. We need to do something here, we need to change this up. Right, um, yeah, I agree, let's do it for the fans. And then, assertively, I'm looking for you to make the difference, I'm looking for you to make the difference, I'm looking for you to make the difference. Right. Iggy on for Masco on that left-hand side. He's been dreadful. So has Woodward, to be honest. Uh, Mackenzie off for Jackson Jr. I'm going to stick with the, the trusted. And then we've got one sub left. I'm tempted to do it now and do three subs at half-time. Yeah, I am. Woodward for O'Connor as well. Let's go back to what we were doing really well at the beginning of the season. Complete wing-backs. Um, you can be a deep-line playmaker on support. Advance forward, advance forward. Deep line forward on attack. Let's split, get you splitting the defenders as well so you can pick up the ball from the halfback position. Here we go. 
A few changes, three, well, a few changes, three subs at half time. Try and make a difference in this game. And uh, let's see what we can do. O'Connor. Now Mackenzie disappointed in the big game. Allen with a good tackle. And it goes out for a throw in. Yeah, not really creating the chance. They've had three clear cut chances. They have ripped us open time and time again. But Saravia's at the back post. He's got to do better. Burwood makes the save. Come on, guys. We have got players that we can go to a 4 through 4. Saravia trying to launch a counter. He's waiting for Tearhorse to make that movement. saravi has got a decent ball in on him. He puts it in, picks out Jealous. Jealous brings it down. On one more to Jackson Jr. Jackson Jr. shoots. It's the wrong side of the post. <sighs> Corner. Saravia to swing it in. Agabatoma's waiting at the back post. There he is with the header. It's touched over the bar by Burwood. Oh, my word. Come on. Saravia. Ball in. It's gone over. It's gone out. It's gone out from... Ah. Now they've got a free kick. Shimoten swings it in. O'Connor wins the header. Jealous. Jackson Jr. Give it back to Jealous. So he goes up all the way to Tearhorst. Look at us throw men forward on the counter. Tearhorst. He's got Jealous in the middle. He stopped his run and he goes and Phillips picks it up. And it's cut out. But Jealous has won it back. Is this Jackson Jr.? Oh, Stevens is there. Back to the keeper. Oh my word, we've got to make something happen with these efforts. Come on, come on, Casper. We've now had five half chances in this game and not scored. Spong, out it goes to Jackson Jr. Back to Jealous, over the top, Tearhorst. You're the man for the moment. You're a Tearhorst, yes, come on, 2-2. Two, two. We're back in the game. Johan Tearhorst puts it away, keeps up his goal scoring form. 37th goal of the season and still not one club has ever been interested in him. It's absolutely ridiculous. Jealous with the ball over the top. Tear horse is in behind. Oh, and puts it past the outstretched goalkeeper. Let's keep going. We've got the momentum. Let's keep this happening. 20 minutes to go. Obviously, we've used all three subs, but we do have much better fitness than them because, because they've played that extra game. Demar Moore. Come on, we can do this. We just need one more goal. For the last few minutes, let's go attacking. Last 10 minutes. I'm going for the win. They're uninterested. We're focused. Come on. Keep working hard. Two minutes to go. It's extra time. Passionately. I'm happy what I saw out there. Let's keep it going. Right. Tactics wise, let's just drop this back down to positive. Start extra time. Come on, come on. We've got back into this. Ibsen Rossi, out it goes to Saravia. We have shown character and fight. Kizzy, get him off. Get him off. Give him a booking. Get him another yellow. Corner, Saravia. Fires it in, looking for the back post. Burwood comes and claims it really well, to be honest. Very, uh, with, with good authority, he claims that one. But he's got rid of that quite quickly. O'Connor's underneath it, wins the header. Phillips picks it up over the top, looking for Turner. He was dangerous in the first half. Turner's through one on one. Casper with a fantastic save. A big save from Big Casper. Oh my word. This is end to end. It's tense. Smith fires it in. Casper claims it well. Really good stuff from Casper. He can slow it down and wait for us to set. We get an extra sub. We get an extra sub in extra time. I'm tentative to do Jackson Jr. for Smith because Jackson Jr. has been shocking since he came on. Everyone else's fitness is okay. Iggy's the only other one who's playing poorly, but he won't come off. So we don't have any other fullback. So yeah, sub for sub. Dennis on for a bit of flair on the right-hand side. Let's see what we can do. Uh, Demar Moore again. It's going to be very close to half time in extra time. It's been tense. It's been very, very tense. It is extra time in half. Half time in extra time. And we look to fly that out wide towards Dennis, but couldn't get it in there. I mean, we've created. We've, we've, had, we've had the better of it since. Well, since half time when we made all the subs. Uh, I'm just going to take. Get stuck. We've got a few people on yellow cards now, so I'm just going to take that off. Um. Let's leave you up there. Leave you right up front. Don't have to drop back into that gap. 
Not long to go. Is it going to be another penalty disappointing drama session? O'Connor. Up to Jealous. Back to O'Connor. What's he going to do here? Goes to Agabontoma. Agabontoma to Bramble. Bramble back to Agabontoma. Let's not lose it in this position. Bramble, Agabontoma. They work that okay. Tear Horse heads it down looking for O'Connor who does get there. O'Connor to Spong. He's given it away and there's acres of space for Turner. He runs at the defence. Lays in Butcher. Butcher's in and Casper again with a fantastic save. That was probably the moment for them to win it. It goes up to Kizzy. To Phillips. Phillips. That's wide and left and we've got about 20 seconds to try and nick a winner. Spong. Back to Bramble. Bramble over the top. Tearhorst. This is the moment. Johan Tearhorst shoots. Burwood makes the save. But he's offside. And that's going to be penalties. Oh, not again. Not again. Unless we can do something from here. We can't. It is penalties. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, well, it has to be those three first. And then we're really struggling. Composure and penalties. Composure. Uh, finishing two. I'm actually going to go Dennis. Then we'll go O'Connor. And then we'll let the rest be decided by fate, as they say. But uh, it's another penalty shootout. Oh, it's another penalty shootout. Smith is up first. Guy. Oh, that's a great penalty. Great penalty. Completely sends Casper um, out. Well, well out of Casper's reach. Johan Terhor scored in the game. Oh, he's hit the post. He's hit the post. Allen is over the ball. Oh, and he stuck it in as well. And it's oh, it's a disaster. So another game where we fought our way back into it and penalties are probably going to get the better off. Saravia. Okay, he scored. We've got one. We, we need a save. We need a save. Pat Butcher. Pet, 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 pet. Come on, Casper. Big save. Oh, he's gone the right way every time. Jealous. Oh, down the middle and scores. It's still just one one save. Phillips is up. Come on, Casper. Oh, he's sent in the wrong way. Oh, it's so tense. We've got to now score. We've got to score. And it's Brown. Is it Bramble? I think I put on the next one. Yeah, it is. TJ. TJ Bramble. It's a long little jog up. The ball is on the spot. Bramble. Come on. Oh, he's put it away. I thought the keeper had saved it. Casper, if we never needed you to pull a save out the bag, this is it. Kizzy, who I, he should have got sent off. Should have got sent off for that tackle. Should have been a second yellow. Kizzy v Casper. Casper, come on, the big friendly goalkeeper. Kizzy, right footed. Oh, I thought Casper had saved it. It's gone in. Wilds don't go through to the final. And we... I can't believe we've had such penalty heartbreak. Oh. At home in front of the fans. Oh. We lose 2-2. We lose on penalties. Tear horsed. Johan. Oh, it's heartbreak for him after such a good season. <sighs> no, Ross can go and do that. FC United, yeah. Heard can go. That's fine. Oh. Although I only just realised we're still paying £140 of his wages, which is a bit annoying, but... Record attendance... 2,295 people turned out from folks then. New gate receipts of 24k. 16 league draws. That's what we need to change into wins next year. Bloody hell. It's soft sell. Um, 
this is oh I cannot believe it cannot believe it oh no auto size all columns please um gutting absolutely gutting the boys have done so well this year but that's it it comes down to the playoffs and we didn't get through 30 goals in the season for Johan Terhorst. He is also the highest assister and the highest average rater. He's also a top goal scorer in the builder base. It was so nearly a very successful season, but we're going to have another year in the Vanarama National League South. Avoid relegation and we finish third, which is absolutely incredible. Um, where do we go? Stages, league table... I can't, uh, well, you know, you want to say I hope Hemel Hempstead go up now because they finished second, they probably deserve it. Yeah, nine points they won it by, ten points ahead of us. I don't know who's coming down from um, the National League. Well, Dover have made the playoffs. Wow, okay. Um, that's good. Coming down, so Billericke will come back down into the south. They won the Southern Division last year, Vanarama National South. Uh, Maidenhead and Billericke, I imagine, will go into the southern uh, area, I think. Is that right? I think that's right. So that's a funky kit. But yeah, there we go. It's over. The dream is over. However, we will uh, look a little bit at the player stuff. So we've signed Mikhail McKenzie, who is on a zero wing. He's got really crap potential, so you can go straight, straight away. Off you go. Bye. Um... So let's have a look at the end of year then. So in players inducted, well, it's a, it's, it's a Jackson Jr., Spong, Jellis, Bramble, Iggy, Casper, Tearhorst in there again. Nice. End of season awards, Tearhorst, obviously player of the season, a whopping 65% of the votes. Uh, Saravia gets goal of the season, Agamatoma signing of the season on a free and young player and Harry Woodward. Um, Iggy, the pl team of the season then, Casper, Iggy, Agabatona, Ibsen, Rossi, and Mata, Bramble, Jellis, Spong, Dennis, Saravia, and Johan Terhorst. Rudel's just gone back to bed. Um, a really good season, and at, we used the most players in the league. We had 10% full attendance, so we can do a lot more than that. Club Vision. Next season, they want us to now reach the playoffs. Wow, okay. Um... Okay, we'll accept it. Uh, squad Dynamics, Tear Horse, Matter, Omara, Jealous, and Agbon, Agbotoma. Win Stanley issues her um, report. Graham Collins has been injured quite a lot out at Beckenham. Beckenham, um, squad end of season break. I'm not looking. 61% possession. They did have more shots on targets. They had four clear cut chances as well. Um, Jamie Jellis turned in performance the highest quality. Room for improvement was, yeah, Masco. He's going to be our key player, and I'm not. Um, am, I, am I sold on him? I'm not sure. 11 appearances, 7.11. If we compare him to um, Yafet Mata, who was probably unlucky to miss out in that game, a 6.8 of 31, 4 goals, 5 assists. Yeah, maybe Masco just needs a full season with us to. So that we can really appreciate his uh, his skills. Callum Forward as a striker who will be coming back next year and will be challenging for a starting spot. Hugh Torfelt, I think, is another one that will be coming in, seeing what he can offer the club. Um, Kiriakou will be our third choice goalkeeper, likely to go back out on loan again. But yeah, we've got lots of decent players coming through. But what we have got to decide is who doesn't get a new contract. So if we go into contracts. Um, expiry so Bramble I think I think we keep him around I'm very happy yeah 7.16 25 on his non-contract deal I'm happy to keep him around People, someone will be able to take him whenever we want at the moment we're playing we're paying him 350 pound per game so I'm just wondering if we can can we change that to be part-time remove that uh, contract length will give you a guaranteed £230. I think that's that's pretty fair. Actually, we'll give you a guarantee of £200. Yeah, so you're happy with that. And now he's playing every... He's playing pretty much every game. So that should, in theory, save us money. Uh, Gino Gen McKenzie is an interesting one. He's come in, he's scored goals... 
again, I'm not going to renew his contract. I'm just going to say he's here unless someone else wants to make an approach. Um, Rio Glean, I think he's not worth the wages we're paying him. 6.64, 23 appearances. That's pretty bad. I let people go for worse last year. I think we just waved goodbye to Rio Glean and said we tried. It didn't work out. So what we'll first do is see if we can get a little bit of cash for you. Um, let's go 1.5, something like that. Transfer list, offer to clubs, yes. Uh, Matthew Dennis is another one, 250 panel a week. I don't think he's really been, uh, no, he hasn't just he hasn't justified that wage. When you think about how we've been, how we've been doing, he hasn't been justifying that wage. So again, we'll go for a, uh, we'll go for a 1K there. See what we can get. I think Rio Glean, I've already said that. Yeah, I've already releasing him. Um, Torfelt, I think we will renew if we can for £600. Saravia, £350 a week. Once we started getting him on set pieces, his assists were crucial. So I think we'd maybe give him a new contract if we can, potentially at a lower wage. Uh, Scott Hurd is going anyway. Hopefully he will agree this move to uh, FC United of Manchester. Um, Jackson Jr., I, I've promised him a new contract at the end of the season. And I think, yeah, I think we will. I think he's been he's been a good servant. So we'll we'll discuss that with him. Oh, yeah, I offered him one and he didn't accept it. So we'll do that again in the future. Kiriaku, £120 a week. We'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, £100 a week. Brian O'Connor, I want to keep him around. But I don't think he wants to talk to us at the moment. No, he doesn't. Um, these guys are all on loan. I will I think we need to try and get jealous again. I'm going to try and pick him up on a free because his contract expires soon. Harry Woodward, when does your contract expire? Yeah, again, you expire this season, so I'd like to try and get you in again. And uh, Iggy, yeah, you expire as well. I think all three of those would be great if we could sign them. Uh, and then you're going into people that have got over a year left on their contract. So uh, spy rides we may try and cash in on. As I said, I don't, I don't see where he really fits into the team, but who knows for next year. So let's kind of crack on a little bit. We're going to have about half an hour episode this one. We'll just see if we can get any more uh, offers for players. If not, we'll, we'll end it and go into next season. So yeah, if, so you've been given the free. Uh, yep, you can sign Glean for 1.1. FC United of Manchester are just dead keen to sign wingers. Uh, suggest, yep, yeah, 1K is fine with me. Folks then offer us a new contract, so that's fine. We'll start the negotiations. Yeah, manager, manager, manager. Um, what am I currently on? I'm currently on £600 a week. They want it lower. Oh, yeah, I don't care about lower. That's fine. Um, winning the FA Trophy. I, I'm not. You can remove that. I'm not too fussed about that. Promotion wage rise. I'll take 10%. Wage drop. I'll take 40%. And... Uh, well, I'm not going to move. Percentage of club compensation, club compensation required for managerial role. Uh, well, yeah, I'm not. I think if I remove that, is that better to remove that? Yeah, I think it is because they've just accepted to it. So finalised deal. That's fine. Um, we'll go from there. Finances wise, we are doing okay. I don't think we've had our league payout yet, though. So uh, yeah, I'm absolutely. I'm delighted. Yeah. Obviously, obviously, you say you're delighted when you sign a new contract, but we are, we are progressing, we are making this club into something special. It feels like um, now what we've got to do is go and look around the market. Once we find out our uh, well done, Johan Terhorst, well done, Saravia, and uh, three players called up for the youth international, which is good. Um, yeah, once we then make our we we sort out our wages and stuff like that. We need to just go through. You're happy with the playing time you've been getting. I haven't played you recently. Um, okay, but uh, yeah, now we we're sorting out our wages. We can go through and see what other youngsters have been released and things like that. So, uh, yep, yeah, Scott Hurd can go. That's not a problem. Um, so I'm going to assume this is where the season finishes. We're going to be getting money from our player sales as well, which is good. If we can get. Well, that would be about 3.1k. That's pretty good for a club of our size to bring in players like that. Uh, so Dennis is going to sign as well. That's fine. And we are still paying a little bit of their wages, but I don't mind that. Because they will be paying less than what they were on when they were here. So 
Board set initial budgets, transfer budget of 647, 8.5k is good, that is good. Yes, so we've got a little bit of money to play with, which is wonderful. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, we can go and look at bring, bring people in then, I think. Let's get rid of this clear entire selection. Now, people that are on non-contracts, if there's better players out there, then the chances are we will just let them go and uh, bring in the new people. Where's custom now? It's custom Dave and position. So... Yeah, I think we'll leave it there. It's been a pretty long episode. Apologies about that. But uh, we'll be back for the start of Season 3. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to let me know uh, down below what is your current TV series that you're watching or box set or something like that. But for now, I'm out. Cheers. Oh, leave a like and subscribe. All that jazz. Cheers.